How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. Now if you're in the market to up your stream quality, then a game capture card is always needed because it allows you to use a dual system streaming. So you have your game system just for gaming and then you have your stream PC just for streaming. It allows you to split the load up a lot more, get better FPS and then also it allows you to have more control over your streaming system. And if you use console, then you just have your console and your streaming PC. So yeah, PC Master Race right there. Uh, but anyway, today we are going to take a look at the Ripsaw HD from Razer, which is their latest game capture card. Now, the reason why the Ripsaw HD is somewhat of a better buy compared to the very popular Elgato HD 60S is because it does feature a 4K pass-through and also has some nice audio connections here at the front. But mostly it's going to be the 4K pass-through that is the big difference. So it doesn't allow you to record 4K, that unfortunately is not the case, but it does allow you to use a 4K TV or a 4K monitor to pass through it without you needing to lower the quality of your system and reduce the quality. You want to make your game always look as best as possible for yourself, even though it only records at 1080p 60fps, just like most other external recorders. So 1080p 60fps is kind of the same as all of the others, but the 4K pass-through is a nice and it is a bit more expensive compared to the Elgato HC6TS, there we go, uh, ranging in at $160 or 2,700 Rand. Now quickly going over the design of the Ripsaw, you get this nice small almost hand sized square box that is made out of plastic but it does feel nice high in quality. On the top you do get this outline Razer logo which unfortunately is not RGB and even though that's kind of a joke, wouldn't it have been cool if it actually was RGB? If you could turn it off of course if you don't want that but... I don't know, it would have kind of been cool, I think. And then here on the front, you get your mic in, so you can plug in your microphone there, and then your headphone out. So you can connect everything straight to the Ripsaw HD without you needing to fiddle around and worrying about anything else might going wrong. Everything's just connected to the unit. And then at the back, you get your USB type C that goes into your streaming PC, your HDMI in, and then your HDMI out. And then finally at the bottom you get this nice rubberized grip to help prevent it from sliding around. Now I will say that if you do not have the USB Type-C connected to your either your gaming PC or your streaming PC, it is not going to power it on and you're not going to get a display on your gaming monitor, on the main monitor. So you need to have this powered on with the USB Type-C connection. So taking the Ripsaw HD for a test drive, I connected it into my gaming PC which has an i7-8700K and use my Razer Blade which is definitely not the Aero 15 Classic that I reviewed a while ago back as the streaming setup. So I use Streamlabs for all of the inner coding work. I put it on a faster as the inner coding profile uh, and then also use Twitch's recommended 1080p 60fps streaming settings. So that's 6,000 6, kilobits a second for the encoding. And then I played some Rainbow Six Siege which on its own is a bit more demanding on the CPU. So for the testing, I use only the gaming system to do both the gaming and then the rendering. And then once again, I use the Razer Blade as the streaming setup to split the workload. So while I was only using the gaming PC for both gaming and streaming, my CPU ranged around the upper 90s in usage. And then for average FPS, it was 127. But using the streaming Razer Blade system, it lowered the CPU usage down to around 60% and increase FPS by 20, taking it up to 146, 47. Now just keep in mind that it is going to depend on what hardware you use for your gaming and encoding and also the settings that you use for your streaming. Now then just finally, is the Ripsaw HD worth it? Well, it's going to depend if you want that 4K pass through and if you want your 
audio connections here at the front because that is the biggest difference between the Ripsaw HD and then also the Elgato HD 60S. Uh, the Ripsaw is a bit more expensive, but you do have those features. So it's just going to depend on what your use case will be. For consoles like the PS4 Pro and the uh, Xbox One S, I believe, for that, the 4K pass through is definitely going to be worth it without you needing to lower the quality and reducing your gaming experience. And then also, if you just want everything connected to one central unit, then this is definitely going to be a better use case, especially for that audio gear at the front. Uh, because if you stream or just before you start streaming, you don't want anything to go wrong. It has happened to me sometimes. Uh, so you want as few as possible causes for a mess up on your stream so that is definitely going to help reduce some issues but now that's pretty much it for my look at the ripsaw hd from razor big thanks to apex interactive for sending it over for a review and in the end it's just going to be up to what you guys want to use it for i personally use an internal game capture card for my streams and it's honestly a lifesaver let's say your game crashes or your gaming pc crashes then your stream is still on and it's just really a must have if you are planning to do a lot more streaming or up your stream quality so for that use case definitely definitely worth it but now that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys i do hope you enjoyed if you did please like share comment comment like always and then i will check all of you guys next time cheers guys